<laughs> and uh, we're now about to talk to Susie and we're going to see two old Susie two hits, Hong Kong Gardens and Dear, Dear Prudence. Prudence. Right now, whew, it's exhausting this Nepal stuff. <laughs> Really, um, the banshees are now the longest of, uh, longest lasting of all of the, <laughs> <laughs> the longest, the longest lasting of all the punk groups, aren't they? I mean, ten years. Why do you think it is? Um, I don't know. Uh, then and even now, I mean, lots of groups came out with their spanking new little uniforms, and it was very much based on fad and something lasting for six months, and they'd have to think of something quick to change. Um, and it was nev never like that. We just went out, toured quite a lot, and um, uh, it stayed the same, really. Now, Although there's been changes, but... Yeah, the Banshees have stayed quite the same, and, mm. and the looks stayed quite the yeah. same. Do you ever feel that you'd like to just do something radically different, but maybe it would bother the fans? No, I mean, why change something that's natural? I mean, I suppose the look is our own personal style, so um, I've never felt the need to change that. but. I mean, we do change quite a lot, and that we kick out a guitarist every three, few years. <laughs> um, and that's quite radical, usually. Something uh, new always happens around that. It has to. Do you, um, what sort of audiences do you now attract? Um, obviously, there's uh, a lot of young audiences who probably, uh, the last single that was released, that's the first time they've heard of Susie and the Banshees or thought of getting in, into them. Um, there are still the odd ones that have been there all the time, and it, it's very much a cross-section. It's very hard to pin it down, thankfully. When you go to America, I mean, how do they react there? Because they're all wearing sort of Van Halen T-shirts and things. I mean, what do they do? But there's a strong minority of people that <laughs> don't wear Van Halen T-shirts. <laughs> um, we managed to get a good audience of, of mm. that there. You went, you went last year to Argentina and Brazil. Was mm. that good? That was brilliant. It was, um, uh, I think I was saying to Jules in the telephone box that it was... Another telephone. Yeah, that it was... Um, Brazil reminded me so much of Italy and, and how the people were. Very warm, very passionate. Um, unfortunately, with Argentina, we were only there a day and a half, so it was hard to get a real feel for it. We we're mainly in Brazil, mm. which is uh, what I mainly enjoy. Do you think that people expect you to be very difficult? Yes. Why? Why? Uh, Rumours spread around somehow, and uh, some of them might be true, but for good reasons, and some of them are fictitious. Um, but I find it's usually quite helpful. It's quite funny anyway to just turn up and see what some someone's doing. Mm. See what the, they're gonna. The new album's all cover versions. Isn't yes, it? correct. And the new single is too. Yes, isn't it? which is on the album. Why did you do that? Um, I suppose uh, before starting work on a new album. We're gonna it see it. We're gonna see it. Wheels of fire. It's coming, it's coming, your new video. Right. Oh, apparently it's not. Carry on. All well, right, tell us a bit. Quick, quick, quick. Um, before starting the new album...
Your memory serves you 